Toronto artist and teacher is shattering stereotypes with portraits of African Canadians. His work is now being celebrated hanging from the walls of the Royal Ontario Museum as part of a new exhibit. Matt Nagabasalasi has more on the artist and the man and his mission. In class 1-3, there were 22 chairs. From shaping the minds of the future as an elementary school teacher to broadening the landscape of Canadian contemporary art featuring black men and women, Gordon Shadrach has been on a mission that has now landed him a spot at the Royal Ontario Museum. If you had said to me, as a little black boy in Brampton, <laughs> you know, uh, 45 years ago, I was talking to a six-year-old and saying, this is what you're going to be doing, I wouldn't have imagined it. And that's because growing up in Canada in the 70s, he says there was a lack of diversity in arts and the media. My parents were very clear about balance and representation. Um, they also taught me, again, that idea of if I don't like something, if I don't like how things are happening, instead of just complaining about it, be part of the solution. So he picks up his paintbrush, challenges a world full of stereotypes, and is finding success. This painting is now part of the Here We Are Here Black Canadian Contemporary Art Exhibit at the ROM. It's the museum's ongoing effort to correct past wrongs, including the Into the Heart of Africa exhibit from 1989. The museum has since apologized for the exhibit, acknowledging it was racist. There were still lingering tensions with people from the black community. We thought that probably we really needed to tackle this directly and to create a program that would show a different type of engagement with issues relating to Africa and the diaspora. Shadrach has explored many of the issues in his artwork and with his students, and it's clear he has left a lasting impression. I went to one of, yeah, I went to one of his shows and I bought one of his paintings and it's like hung up in my, in my room. He kind of helped me embrace my love of the arts and that helped me become like a better artist. The exhibit, which opens Saturday, will run until mid-April. Knowing now that there's going to be little black boys and little black girls looking at my work and giving them something to aspire to, uh, it's amazing to be part of that process. Magda Gebrasselassa, CBC News, Toronto.